Hello, fifth year. Uh, I'm telling you how we are going to organize the class. Yes. Uh, everybody is in the Google Classroom. Yes. So I will send a video plus the activities on the board plus the homework. All right. So I will say now. Uh, I will take attendance and I want you to say here in the Google Classroom, okay? Ivan, Ivan, here, Paula, here, okay? So, Ivan, Teresita, Paula, Nazarena, is here or not here? Ramat, Martin, Milagros, Jose Maria, and Santi. Yes, I want you to put here. Yes, okay? So, pay attention now. Yes? Uh, the, how we're going to organize ourselves today? Yes? Like this. So, today we are going to check pages 12, 13, 14 and 15 from the activity book from the EM. Yes? Okay? I'm going to dictate you the, the answers. Alright? And you are going to check the activities. Yes? Uh, until here, yes, you have to have everything done, so you are going to autocorrect here, not here, okay? Uh, don't leave everything to do all together, yes, do step by step. Ojo, otra cosa, I say this in Spanish, no voy a aceptar delay homework, chicos, ¿está? La otra vez, por única vez, ¿sí? Porque fue que algunos entraron tarde, etcétera, etcétera, ¿sí? Pero no puedo darme el lujo de aceptar. Dile el homework porque estoy con demasiado trabajo, estoy sobrecargada de trabajo, de correcciones. Estoy haciendo todos los videos para todos los cursos. Estamos trabajando con los chicos online, entonces, con los teachers online. Entonces necesitamos que los trabajos estén en tiempo y forma ahora más que nunca. ¿sí? Porque si no va a ir su trabajo y si no lo van a ver corregido es porque directamente llegó tarde y no se les corrigió. ¿Se entiende? Entonces... Nos ponemos de acuerdo donde dice la fecha límite en ese horario y en esa fecha tiene que estar porque tenemos que organizar el tema de las correcciones. ¿Ok? Good. So, uh, number one from page 12, the activity book, put a tick or a cross. Yes. Surprised, confused, annoyed, exhausting, amusing, upset. Number two. Yes, complete. Fascinating. Ojo con word building there, eh? Fascinated, fascinating, the ing form and the ed adjectives, okay? Number two, worried. Number three, embarrassed. Number four, scared. Number five, thrilled. Number six, depressed, yes? Three, fascinating and thrilled. Suppose you haven't done the activity, the em, yet. Do it and then correct it. Don't cheat, please. Yes? Okay? Good. Uh, let's go to page 13. Page 13. Yes? Are you there? Okay. Exercise 2. All right. A place. Uh, 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 yes. Wait a minute. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. But well, I continue. Yes. Okay. Number uh, two from page thirteen. Yes. Okay. Two from page thirteen. Both. Two in. Three. Whereas. Yes. Four might. Five saw. Six excited. Seven. However. Eight. Look. Okay, that's all. Yes, okay. Uh, number one, you have uh, number two from page 13. Yes, here. And you need to put a place there, a feeling. Number three, an object. Number four, a place of an object. Five, an object. 
and six a country. Yes, because it says, look at one to six in the text and what kind of word do you think I might go in the gap? Yes, if it is a noun, an adjective, okay, a feeling. Good. Let's go to page uh, 14, exercises one and two. Yes, okay. Page 14, the vocabulary one. Yes, one C. Yes, one C to work for. Number two A, joke about. This was one of the mistakes, yes. What are you joking about, yes? Okay, then we're going, it was one of the common mistakes. It will appear there. Three, three C, yes, three C, think of, yeah, think of a word. Yes, that show me, blah, blah, blah. Four B, yes, run away, escape, yes. Five B, laugh at, yes, laugh at the dog, yes. Okay. Six B, 6B, agree with somebody. 7C, 7C, don't care about. And 8C, arrive at, you know, arrive in, arrive at, you know the, the differences, all right? Uh, the grammar, 1A, 2F, 3D, 4B, 5E, 6C, okay? All right? Number two, I went to London. One, yes, they correct the mistake. Two, life has changed, present perfect. Three, I wore, yes, cool clothes. Number four, Megan has got up, no, got up in the past. Five, the town in, yes, uh -huh, the town, I live in, has grown, present perfect. Seven, people have become, seven, it was six, sorry. Seven, Gina bought, and eight, the invention, ta 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 ta, changed in past, okay? Good, then you have the reading that is uh, one, yes, A, B, or C, is C, the answer is C. Two, one is a travel article, two, the travel article, Ten wonders of the disappearing world. Three, the travel article. And four, threatened places. Yes. Exercise three. One C, two F, three B, four A, five E. Okay. And then the reading. Exercise four. Joy, happiness, delight, glee. Two, a place Tourists go to destination. Four in danger, threatened. Five damaging and six powerful. Yes, okay. And three fragile. Yes, okay. That was uh, until 15. This is done. So let's go to the main mistakes, the common mistakes you had in the composition. Okay, first of all, uh, you need to organize your ideas. Uh -huh. In the task, it could be a spelling mistake, grammar mistake, um, punctuation mistake, and the organization of the paragraph. If you have problems for the organization of the paragraphs, you have to do the brainstorming. Write the brainstorming first and then write the article or the essay, okay? The letter. Yes, okay. Ojo, comas, puntos, mayúsculas, capital letters. Okay? Take into account this thing because we need to uh, have less mistakes. Because in some cases, people didn't uh, have a lot of mistakes. But in some other cases, yes, you have many mistakes. Yes, cada uno sabe dónde está parado. Yes, okay. Um, then you got. Esto es una que apareció un montón. Eso se lo están escuchando en los films o algo así. You got a friend. You've got a friend. 
but God solito, no. Yes? Okay? You need to put a half God there. Yes? Or you have a friend. Yes? You have a friend. You don't have a friend. Yes? Okay, cuando comenzamos un texto uh, talking about friends, yes, having friends is very nice. The verb goes with ing, ok? Como sujeto de la frase. Yes? Yes or no? Yes, ok? Y hubo writing, writings que estuvieron divinos. Ojo con el like, imagínate que. Like plus ing. Yes? Um, apareció de nuevo uh, talk. Talk with is very informal. It's not wrong, but it's informal. And when you are writing a, an essay that is formal or semi-formal, you need to put talk to. All right? Yes, and then the word order. Pay attention in the word order. Yes, for example, um, I find easily information I find this is a wrong but you have to put I find information easily okay so you need to put this information and the adverb at the end okay uh, rely on open when you rely on when I have problems I rely on my parents I rely on on my husband. What is rely on? Yes? Apoyarse en alguien. Okay? Uh, then, once a week, twice a week, three times a week. No una vez a la semana. Cada uno sabe de cuál es el error que estoy tocando si leyó su composición. ¿sí? Porque primero lo que tienen que hacer es read the corrections. Remember, I am not in your house. You are alone. So you need to be conscious about how we are going to work. See? If I send you, yes, a composition, I took my, my time for correcting compositions one and two, all of your composition. So you need to look, have a look at the mistakes, see if you understand. Yes? Because if you don't look at the mistake, and if you don't understand your mistake, you are going to be stuck there, and you are not going to advance, all right? So, you need to have a look at the mistake, because if you are seeing this video now and you haven't looked at your mistake, you are going to be lost. Yes? Voy a estar diciendo los mistakes que les tocó a cada uno, pero cada uno va a estar en su bola porque no van a tener mi, eh, hecho el primer paso, que es, have a look at the corrections. Yes? Okay? Uh, you know, I had fun. It's okay. But... I had a funny time. Okay? You need pay attention to the noun and the adjective. Yes, funny is el adjetivo. And fun is the noun. Okay? Is it clear? Another thing, uh, the most of the time. El de lo va adelante. The most of the time. Yes? Most of the time. People, blah, blah, blah. Yes? Otro. Ah, all day. All day is different to every day. Every day I go to school. I watch TV all day. Yes? Since the morning to the afternoon. Do you understand the difference? Yes? Okay. Good. No quiero borrar esto, por eso no uso la otra parte. Yes? All right. Uh, da, da, da. Ah, who do you want to spend? With whom? Le pusieron algunos. With who do you want to spend? No. Who do you want to spend time with? And with, al final. Okay? Do you understand? Yes or no? Where is my marker? The blue one. Okay. Bla, bla, bla. Ojo, las S en el presente simple. Iván, the S is in the present simple, yes? In your case, Ivan, your writing as regards um, organization was very good and the presentation was very good. 
el único que presentó eh, con fotitos, uh, yo, I mean, the, um, it had a lot of mistakes, but the presentation was catchy. It means that it calls my attention. And the organization was okay too. It called my attention. The organization was good, but you need to diminish the number of mistakes because there were many elementary mistakes. The S is in the present simple, for example. Okay? Um, I wrote this. Another thing is I wrote this. Yes? I wrote this. This que necesito poner acá lo que escribe. I wrote this email, this text, this paragraph, okay? And then we have um, another thing is that joke about. Uh, joke about something, yes? Or make a joke about something. Yes, uh, last night we were making a joke about the film we saw together. Yes, okay. Is it clear? What? Uh, as re this is as regard the mistakes. Todos van a estar, the common mistakes van a estar anotados ahí en el, eh, en el classroom virtual. Yes, okay. Well, so pay attention now. Uh, as regard <coughs> this topic, Yes, as regard this topic, yes, as regard this topic, you have the past simple, used to, and were. Remember, we use past simple to talk about past events, yes? We use used to for solia, yes? I used to climb trees when I was a child. I used to go camping, yes, go fishing when I was a child. And then you have would. El would lo vamos a usar de la misma manera que el used to, pero for repeated action, yes, in the past, okay? Well, for example, el que no entendió o el que tiene que revisar, digo en Spanish esto, va simple, used to, and good, va a ir a la página, por eso dice en el pizarrón, dice que van a sacar fotos después de esto, ver página 147 del Classroom 2.2. Y después dice, para el however, whereas, and everything, los conectores, ver página 163 del Classbook 2.7. Una cosa, el, uh, los writings, cuanto más conectores, más variedad de conectores y de vocabulario tenga, va a estar mucho mejor. So, uh, salgamos de and, but, because. You have other connectors because this is fifth year, all right? Yes? <coughs> Sorry. Can we go to 2.2 from page 147? 2.2 from 147 from the class book. Yes? Okay. And then you have past simple, used to, and word. Past simple, how you form past simple, you already know this. Used to. Yes, I used to go, did you used to go, cuando está el did y el did en el verbo van infinitivo, ya saben ustedes. Y dice el uso, atención, to talk about past habits, states that don't happen now, que no pasan ahora. I used to climb trees, I used to play with dolls, I used to play with marbles, yes, ok. Y ojo, atención, después tenemos el would. Would más infinitive, el would de los condicionales, yes, this would, ok, would plus infinitive. Ok, my grandmother would come home from work. Grandfather, sorry, he would sit by the fire and drink, ok. Es algo que hacía siempre, repetitivas veces, yes. I would study, when I was a child, I would study and go to school and do my homework. I could sit in front of the TV, and I would sit there and watch films in the afternoon. This is good, for example, yes? We need to use used to there, it says, and in this example, he used to be thin when he was younger, yes? Okay, so remember that used to, yes? Que lo tienen ahí el uso, past habits, states that don't happen now. Estados, yes, I used to be, uh, taller, I used to be fatter, I used to be thinner, yes, okay, entonces lo tienen ahí. 
And then you will go to primero, van a leer antes de hacer el activity, la combo. 163, 163. Pero estoy tomando el trabajo de que escuchen y vean esto. You have, but, however, and I want you to highlight all the connectors, yes? Although, even though, whereas, in spite of, nevertheless, on the other hand, otherwise, Yes, and read the examples, yes? For example, however I was sick, I went to school. However there was a pandemia, I gave the classes, the classes online. Do you understand? And then you have, but, you already know, although I was sad, I went to your party. Yes? I love playing tennis, whereas my sister preferred basketball. I like... Uh, Hamburgers, whereas the David prefers spaghetti. Do you understand? While I was speaking, my husband was recording the class. Yes? Despite, ojo con el despite. El despite que aparece acá va a ser el despite plus ing. Yes? Ok? Todo esto que estoy diciendo yo está en la clase de hoy, en lo que van a necesitar para hacer la activity. O estuvieron en las clases pasadas y estoy rebobinando. Despite plus ing. Despite, a pesar de, despite being ill, I went to school. Despite not having money, I bought a new house. Yes, okay. Do you understand? And in spite of, yes, cold days. Classes continue, yeah, continue, all right? So, in spite of, despite are the same, but be careful when you use in spite of plus a noun, in spite of the bad weather, the teacher went to work. Is it clear? Yeah, um, on the one hand, on the other hand, otherwise, I must check my written work from mistake, otherwise, otherwise, the teacher will be mad. Okay, I must check my written work for, for mistakes, otherwise I may get a bad grade. Yes, this is what I told you. You must take, check your mistakes and understand your mistake, otherwise you will have more mistakes. Do you understand? And uh, I think it's all, yes, from here. So this was the grammar. And I want you to do something, uh, you will do these activities. The page 16, there is only one page from the EM, and sentences with however, um, whereas, yes, todo lo de la página 2.7, okay? La lista esa. All right? You will do that. This is in your cuaderno of composiciones. Don't send me this there in the Google. What you are going to send Pay attention here, because I will put a video here, video, uh, three minutes only, three minutes, and you are going to do this task, the task six from page 23, yes, okay, from the class book, yes, you will do this, the speaking part, the six in three minutes, Yes? All right? Is that? Good? So you will answer the questions in three minutes. And this is like this. You will record yourself because I want, you, I want to listen to you. Yes? <laughs> to your speaking. And you will imagine that you are starting a new community on a deserted island, yes? You know that? Nobody in the island. With the other people in your group, you know? You are going to start a community, comma, pay attention, darling, yes, okay? You are going to start a community, yes? There, on a deserted island. You know what is a deserted island? Nobody there. But the community you are going to start in the deserted island is with the people from the class. I mean, with Martin, with Ivan, comma, 
Ana, Tere, uh, Santi, Nasa. ¿Ok? ¿No se me perdió nadie? ¿Is there anybody missing? Mili. And Mili. Yes, ok. Y Fran. Y Fran. Ah, y Francisco. Yes, ok. Well, you are going to start with those people there. Yes, ok. Chicos, di muchas clases hoy. Sorry if I forget about you. Uh, any of you. Ok. So, you're going to start a community on a, in a, a deserted island with these people from your classroom. Yes, and you have to say, uh, will you have king, queen, or a president? Yes, so you have to say, okay, I'm Homa, I'm Ruth, yes, and I'm going to start a community in a deserted island. And if I lived in a deserted island, and you will use the if, I would uh, have a president. Uh, the official language could be English or, I don't know, Spanish, German, you choose. Uh, you have to say who will vote. Women will vote, men will vote, yes. If you, if you will have an army or a navy, in case you have some words, I don't know. How much tax will people pay? Do you understand taxes? Los impuestos? Yes. Who will be able to join to your community? Suppose people have to come. Which? What kind of people must be there? And will you have a, a religion? Yes. You know? Uh, what will your national sport be? Football, handball, rugby? Okay? In three minutes. So practice before sending me the video. And that will be the speaking, the oral task I give you. So one page from, from EM to the sentences with the connectors in your cuaderno of compositions. And three, the only thing that you have to send me in the Google um, Classroom is this video of three minutes. No more than three minutes. Three minutes is the task. Try to read this. Because it's talk about families, they are, and the benefits of everything. Yes, all right? Um, I think it's done. Everything is done. Revise the grammar first before doing everything. All is there in the parts here. Yes? In the grammar reference, that is at the end. So, I want you to highlight all the grammar. Yes? All the grammar must be highlighted. Understood? Yes? Bye-bye. Happy weekend.